Hi, welcome to the Posh of News. Guys, there are many words to describe what you're looking at. It isn't the camera that's playing up. It is actually misty out there or foggy or there's moisture obviously in the air or it could just be down to the fact that there's slightly higher barometric pressure than normal. But in technical terms, it is ozone and ozone is what we're going to have to be dealing with uh, more of. Um, in the coming years and what it is is, is very very uh, dust sized particles of water not quite large enough to uh, cause precipitation but as you can see just enough to block out you know uh, distant visibility and it's this very thing that's going to uh, cool this earth down and we can expect more of this and it, it's not uncommon to get it this time of the year I'm not saying that cosmic rays um, you know at this time of the year in the UK it is, has caused this but certainly an interaction of cosmic rays will cause precipitation and those those little molecules of moisture or um, fog will get larger if they interact with cosmic radiation and that will cause precipitation and you know this stuff will get added to the jet streams it will make them even more sluggish and create even bigger problems but you know guys we've got problems uh, putting that aside we have our own problems because as you can see these new magnetometer chips have been upgraded and they are different to the ones that we're using on our magnetometers and I've got to try and find a solution to this problem now I just plug these when I plug these chips into our magnetometers that I've been working on over the last week nothing happens it, it just does nothing but the old ones seem to work really well with it and I've been trying to find a solution you know with different resistors I must have tried about I don't know 200 different resistors uh, in between the uh, points for the um, analog out and in which we have over here, which is soldered onto the board on pin 5 and pin 4. But, uh, you know, I've either got to find a supplier of the old chips or we've got to find a way of making these new chips work. And if I can't do it with, um, you know, the resistors or, you know, finding a solution as to why these won't work, then I've got to do it by the program. And if that's the case, it's going to take a long time. I have got uh, a shortage of just two of these. I had some spare, so I've managed to build three of these magnetometers. We've got them up and running. They're ready to go out. But we need the other two, at least, uh, you know, to cover the areas where we said we was going to cover them around the world. So, you know, we've got some problems, guys, and, and uh, it's going to be a bit of a game. Uh, to correct this, I'm just hoping that uh, someone I know has still got a couple of these knocking around and he can put his hand on them, get them sent to me quick, uh, you know, to fix, you know, the problem short term. But long term, we're going to have to either find a supplier of these chips or we're going to have to, you know, find a way around with the program to get these ones working. Guys, I'm going to end the video uh, shortly, but I just want to say uh, a couple of things. You know that there are people out there that want to see us fail in this mission that we've set ourselves out to uh, achieve by putting these magnetometers around the world. This is a real big step for us. Um, you know, we are ticking it to obviously the next level. And, you know, we live in a day and age where people would rather see someone fail and not succeed. And, you know, we have these people who are part of our community on our YouTube channel that are just waiting for that to happen and it's not going to happen you know this little problem we've got with these magnetometers is going to get knocked out at some point throughout the week I will fix that problem I know it's not a big um, issue um, I know it's not also going to be you know a simple fix you know if I've got to start reprogramming um, you know our, what we've got already so that we can get these new magnetometers working then you know it's going to obviously require some time but i'm going to tell you now guys i said that you know the end by the end of this month we would have some magnetometers out running collecting data and i'm still going to try and make that happen you know we're on the 24th of the month we've had to wait a little bit of time for some of these 
components to come. You know, it's set us back a little bit. We've got another little setback now with these chips being different. You know, we've got three out of the six magnetometers actually working and ready to go out. And, you know, we've either got to locate some uh, more chips that are the ones that we need, because what it looks like to me, um, you know, if you go on uh, eBay, it looks like they've uh, made these old ones obsolete, which is going to be a big problem for us in the future because we don't have any more of these chips for the TriMag if anything goes wrong. And trust me, over the, the 18 months that the TriMag's been running, I've had to replace a few of those. I've also had to replace some of the NFR uh, 24 transceivers. Um, so we really need to uh, come up with a solution and come up with one fast. And, you know, I'm not going to give those people that are waiting for us the satisfaction of, you know, seeing me fail on this. You know, I, I do not want that to happen. You know, I've invested too, too much time into this whole thing. You know, the website, uh, the equipment and the, the, the time and dedication for me to just at this little point now give up. So, you know, I'm, I'm telling these people right here and now is that you're not going to see a failure you're going to see something quite the opposite. We are going to finish this marathon and we're going to do it in the in the way we said we was going to do it. We are going to get the data that we want from those locations around the world. And, you know, this observatory is going to go from, you know, this level to the next. It's not, uh, it's not going to go backwards. So, you know, guys, um, really, uh, the time is now to get behind us and support us and you know if you can get hold of uh, any of these uh, chips or you can locate a supplier you know get in touch with me and uh, you know the ones we want are um, the uh, what they called just uh, I'll put a description in the uh, you know a link in the description uh, for the ones that we want they've got a serial number on them and uh, you know if you can find someone who can supply them for me you know get in touch and I'll order those because uh, I tell you now we could do with about 20 of them you know just for backups for the other systems that we've got in place so you know guys I'm not going to go on enjoy the rest of your weekend we've got a lot of work ahead of us uh, next week and um, you know if you want to support us the link's there you can support us on PayPal or if you prefer Patreon uh, support us but, you know, now's the time. And uh, I'll say what I usually do. Guys, take it easy. And uh, I'll catch up with you in the week some point.